Hello, it is Thursday, June 23rd, 2016, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. Today we're going to do an update to the AngularJS 2.0 5-minute quick start. After the popularity of the previous video, it seemed like that video in particular was very outdated and needed a refresh. So we're going to try to do the same thing we did before today, but with the updated quick start. So let's get started. I've already set up Node.js and I've already set up a folder to begin the project in. So provided by the quick start is the package JSON, tsconfig JSON, typings JSON, and even system JS config that we need to get started. So we're going to copy the package JSON and override our current. We're also going to create a tsconfig JSON and a typings JSON. And then we're going to copy tsconfigs JSON from the quick start and paste it into ours. And we're going to get typings, do the same thing. And then lastly, we need to create that system JS config. Next up, according to the quick start, we need to install all the NPM packages. After that's done, let's refresh our folder and we get node modules and typings. So the first thing we need to do as part of step two is to create a folder called app. Then we're going to create our app component TS file in that folder. In this case, we'll go ahead and let WebStorm do the compilation. Conveniently, we'll copy the contents of app component TS and paste it here. Now, with step three, we need to add main TS. And once again, copying over from the quick start. So at this point, I think it's important to review how far we've gone. An important question is why create separate main TS and app component files? Well, as you see here, both main TS and the app component files are tiny. This is just a quick start. We could have merged these two files into one and spared ourselves some complexity. We'd rather demonstrate the proper way to structure an Angular application. App bootstrapping is a separate concern from presenting a view. Mixing concerns creates difficulties down the road. We might launch the app component in multiple environments with different bootstrappers. Testing the component is much easier if it doesn't also try to run the entire application. Let's make the small extra effort to do it the right way. So that's great. Angular basically sets you up to make a real Angular app instead of trying to do any shortcuts with this quick start. Step four, we need to add an index.html to the root of the application. And then copying over from the quick start, we'll go ahead and create this styles.css. And now we're ready for step five, building and running the app. And there it is. Okay, so to wrap things up, we're at the end of the quick start. This was meant as a quick walkthrough to help you get through it but I suggest reading more in detail from the quick start page to understand some of the nuances of building an Angular application. This concludes the update video for AngularJS TypeScript Quick Start. Please give a like to the video if it helped you and comment if you think I missed something important.